Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy October. I'm Nick Push. With it being October and the release of Halloween Ends coming in less than two weeks, I thought it'd be a great time to rank my top kills in the Halloween franchise. So I'm going to give you my top 25, yes, 25 kills in the Halloween franchise. What's going to be number one? Stick around and find out. If you like horror, hit that notification bell, smash that like button, and push that subscribe button now. What's the boogie man? Hello, Sydney. Welcome to my nightmare. We want the man who did this. Welcome to Nick Push's Horror Channel. So, before I give you guys my favorites, I want you to comment down below your favorites. Whether it's just your number one, whether it's your top five, or you want to do what I'm doing and rank your top 25. It's a tall task, I know. Let me know down in the comments. I love hearing your guys' thoughts. Also, I am not doing any kills from the Rob Zombie movies. The reason for that is number one, not a huge fan of those movies, even though I've gained a little bit of a new appreciation for uh, Rob Zombie's 2007 remake. But I just don't know those movies as well as I know all of these from all these other ones from uh, all the other fucking timelines. Um, and also, these are just my favorites. You know, my list is not like correct or anything like that. It's my personal choice. So don't attack me. At least any more than usual. Um, so, that being said, let's jump right into this. Number 25. I cheated right off the goddamn bat, guys. I'm sorry. My number 25, we got a tie. We got a tie between Tina and Ray. Tina and Ray, guys. Two annoying characters that I just was happy to see die. All right? Nothing super spectacular about their death scenes. I just, in my head was giving a little clappity clap when both of them die because they both suck. So, Tina and Ray, I was not sorry to see you go. So you guys are both at number 25. Getting into a little more serious, guys. My number 24 is going to be Tim Strode from Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Not really a memorable character, like, at all. Like, he's probably, like, number, Jesus, I don't know, 15 or 20 on most memorable characters in this movie alone. But I really kind of dug his death scene. You know, he's taking a shower, and, you know, it's uh, misty and foggy, and Myers hands him a towel for some reason, and you see his thorn tattoo, whatever. Um, but then, you know, Tim is standing in the mirror, drying off, and it's foggy, and all of a sudden you see Myers come in the fog and kill him. You knew it was going to happen at some point, 100% uh, knew it was going to happen, but the way they did it, the way they shot it with, uh, you know, the, the fogged up glass and shit like that, big fan of that. So Tim Strode, number 24. Coming in at number 23, let me get my list here, number 23 is going to be good old Bud from Halloween 2. Now, what I like about this death is... It's in the background, right? Bud and Karen are in the hot tub. Don't worry, we'll get to her at some point. Um, but Bud and Karen are in the hot tub. Michael turns up the uh, temperature, so Bud has to go check it, because it can get cold in there too, right? Um, but Bud has to go check it, and he's checking it in the background. Camera's focused on Karen, and then you can see Bud through the glass getting strangled by Myers. Really, really well done and cool scene. Always enjoyed it, found it very creepy. So Bud is my number 23. Coming in at number 22, it's gonna be a real douchebag. It's gonna be Mikey from Halloween 5. Hey, I got Halloween 5 uh, best of on here. Um, look, this kill isn't fantastic or anything. You can see from the picture here, it's, uh, I don't even know what the fuck tool that is. It's not a pitchfork, but it's some type of rake type thing that it gets right to the fucking forehead. But what I like about this is it's filmed it's set during the day, but it's kind of in like an alley-ish or something like that behind the liquor store. And, you know, Mikey's 
fixing the mirror on his car or something, looking at himself in the mirror. And you see Myers just kind of walk up, and then Myers fucks with him a little bit, you know, and then you get the, all right, asshole, trick or trick, you know, and then he gets choked, and then boom, and then Myers kind of drags his body off. Obviously, as you know, I'm not a huge fan of Halloween 5, but I like daytime creepy scenes like this, especially daytime in the shadows. And obviously, this is lit up and not in the shadows, but the fact that it's not bright as hell, um, I thought it was a pretty, pretty decent scene. So, Mikey from Halloween 5, you are my number 22. Coming in at number 21 is going to be Jamie Lloyd from Halloween 6. The Curse of Michael Myers. Obviously the theatrical cut here. Look, there is no emotional weight with this death because Daniel Harris is not playing Jamie Lloyd. I understand that. This is a fucking brutal ass death, guys. Not only does he throw around that farming equipment, um, you can see from the picture here, right here, you know, he, he's reaching out to her and you're like, what is he, what is he doing? Is he reaching out um, like with empathy or something? And he just pushes her fucking down. And then he turns it on, it just turns the machine on, and it kind of mangles her insides. Uh, so I always thought that was a cool scene, um, even though it's a fucked up movie. You know, you could say that with a lot of these movies. Um, there's still things that I enjoy, even with the shitty Halloween movies. Um, and this scene is no exception. So, Jamie Lloyd is number 21. Coming in at number 22 is going, or not 22, number 20, sorry. Counting, counting down, number 20, it's going to be the one that started it all, Judith Myers. Look, this scene's awesome, guys. Uh, you know, this probably should be way higher on the list, um, but I have it at number 20. It's still high. You know, there's like 170 deaths or something in this franchise. Um, but look, this whole scene, the one shot, I don't even know if it's a one shot, but um, I don't think it is. But anyway, you, you know, you don't know who it is. You just got the view here from the mask over the camera. Uh, Judith's brushing her hair after the quickest sex in the world. Um, and then you just see, you know, the stabbing. You know, and you get the Michael, boom. And, you know, for some reason, you know, he stares at his hand, but it's irrelevant. Um, but this is a classic scene, right? It started this whole franchise off. Had to be on the list. I put it at number 20. Coming in at number 19. It's going to be... The biggest asshole in the franchise. Maybe even a bigger asshole than Michael Myers. And that is John fucking Strode. Look, John Strode got what he deserved. All right? Like I said, huge asshole. He comes home after work, while drinking at work, after being a dick to his wife. And a bigger dick, probably, to his daughter. Um, nobody's home. Goes in the basement. Breaker box. Checks the breaker box. Um, or sorry, checks the laundry and then, you know, gets kind of thrown into the breaker box and, you know, probably one of the most ridiculous deaths in the franchise, you know, his fucking head explodes. Uh, but it's a cool scene and it was very, very satisfying to see this guy die a brutal death. So John Strode is at number 19. Coming in at number 18, we have an H2O reference. And it's going to be Sarah from Halloween H2O. This death always just makes me quiver. And it's not the death itself, it's the fact that when the dome la the dome waiter comes tumbling down and falls on her fucking leg, like right on like her shin. Oh god, that just gives me the heebie jeebies. Um, but then you know she's crawling and gets stabbed and then Myers, you know, hangs her up. Um, a brutal death, probably probably one of the best scenes in this movie. I, as you guys know, I'm not a huge H2O fan. Um, I think it's, as a Halloween movie goes, it's kind of garbage, even though there's a lot of things I like about it as far as, you know, Laurie Strode and all that. Um, but this death is a brutal death. Um, and I thought it was a, a good death to kind of kick off the killings in, uh, or in, sorry, in Summer Glen, California. Uh, so Sarah from H2O is at number 18. Coming in at number 17. Sorry, there's a lot here, guys. Number 17 is going to be probably the character on this list that had the least amount of screen time. Can you guess it? I'll give you a chance to think about it for a second here, and then I'm gonna go. My number 17, it's gonna be Bucky. Don't try that Halloween shit with me. <laughs> you know, like I said, he had like 20 seconds of screen time, maybe, but he's a fucking memorable character. Now, 
I hate the way Myers looks in this scene. It's probably my least favorite way Myers ever looks in a scene in the franchise. Okay? But Bucky's death is big. You know, it's it kind of takes away the power from the whole uh, town, which is huge. You know, Myers thinking, thinking ahead here. Get Bucky, you know, gets thrown on the electrical equipment. Uh, it's a cool scene with Myers then standing back, even though he looks like shit. And, you know, Bucky being electrocuted. Cool scene. Bucky's a fan favorite. He is at my number 17. Coming in at number 16. It's going to be the nurse at the beginning of Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. This kind of set this movie up for me when I was younger as like, holy shit. You know, this, this is going to be a different type of Halloween movie. Um, you know, you had rock music playing as the... Uh, uh, as part of the uh, the theme music, which I'm not a huge fan of these days, but when I was younger, I liked it. Uh, and then, you know, she's standing there saying, Jamie, Jamie, and then, you know, it's dark behind her, and all of a sudden Myers, you know, walks up, you see his mask first, and then for some reason there's a huge spike on the wall. <laughs> How convenient, right? Um, but it's a cool scene. He picks her up, you know, the music kicks in a little bit and jams her head uh, into the spike. So cool scene. So the nurse from age six, is my number 16. All right, top 15, everybody. My number 15 is gonna be good old Earl from Halloween 4. Earl has a brutal death as well. Um, he's obviously driving Jamie and Rachel away. His friends are just killed in the back of the truck and Myers basically goes through the window and kind of rips his fucking jaw apart. Uh, pretty badass scene, pretty gnarly, you know, the way they did it with the practical effects. Cool scene. Cool death. I like Earl. Earl. Earl had to be in my top 15, and he's at number 15. Coming in at number 14 is going to be a massacre. I have two massacres left on this list, and here's one of them. Number 14 is going to be the operating room massacre in Halloween 6. Man, there's a lot of Halloween 6 in here, huh? Um, but this is a fucking badass scene. It's probably the most brutal Myers we had seen up until this point. You know, he grabs this huge, you know, machete-looking thing that you see in the picture here. You know, it's, I know it's a Jason weapon, I know. Uh, but then you got kind of the strobe lights and doctors just flying blood everywhere. It's a badass scene. And then, you know, him kind of speed walking after uh, the lone doctor uh, in the tunnels or whatever the hell it is. Pretty badass scene. Operating Room Massacre is my number 14. My number 13 is going to be... Brady from Halloween 4. Um, Brady, obviously, along with the next one on my list, uh, but Brady was a douchebag boyfriend who tried to redeem himself. Whether he did or not, it's open to debate, right? But he put his life, or sorry, he put Jamie and Rachel's life before his, took on Myers one-on-one, -on -one, you know, probably should have backed up a little bit before he loaded, loaded that shotgun again. Um, but Myers brutally, brutally fucking kills him. You know, I, I love when he tries to hit Myers with the gun, with the shotgun, and Myers takes it and just pushes it back into his face and just kind of drops it over the, over the balcony. Um, Brady gets some good licks in, but Myers just crunches his fucking neck, and you can hear the crunch. Speaking of shitty boyfriends trying to redeem themselves and brutal deaths, we got Cameron from Halloween Kills. This was a brutal death to watch. Um, Michael's kicking his ass, right, as you see in the picture here. Um, but it doesn't stop there. You know, he basically takes his head and neck and puts it through, you know, the uh, uh, the staircase. I don't know what you call it, the staircase railing, right? Um, and then stops when he's going down the stairs. Fucking twists his neck. Oh, it, it's brutal. I liked Cameron in... Halloween Kills. I thought he was a good character, along with his father Lonnie. Um, but he had a brutal death. It was it, it was it was tough to watch. Um, Cameron is at my number twelve. Coming in at number eleven, it's gonna be Kelly Meeker from Halloween Four. I know you guys probably wanted a different picture of her, but I move on. Um, awesome death scene. Another classic of the franchise. You know, she's talking about waiting for the Calvary and uh, you know. At least they could watch some MTV if the power was back. Lights the uh, match, and you see that's not uh, Deputy Logan there. It's Myers. 
and he stands up and takes a shotgun right through her fucking stomach into the door there. Um, and then you get the cool shot, probably my favorite looking shot of Myers in this movie, because um, I hate the mask, but in this shot it looks good, of Myers kind of standing back and admiring his work. Um, and it's very lit. It's not, it's not lit at all, it's just darkness. Um, so Kelly Meeker is my number 11. All right, we are getting into it, guys. We are heading to the top 10. My top 10. Cheat it again. I got two because it's the same scene. I got Phil and Sandra from Halloween Kills last year. Whew, awesome, awesome scene. You know, you got the drone. Uh, flies back in and then, you know, she has Phil go check it out. Myers smashes the light by the mirror. Shuts the door and says, there's a monster in there. Oh, it's hilarious. And Myers grabs Phil through the window. Um, starts, you know, beating him to death. Uh, and then uh, Sandra, he takes the uh, fluorescent light bulb and just stabs her through the neck with it. And then just takes the knives and just starts, you know, testing them on Phil's body as Sandra is, uh, is sitting there dying and watching. Just a fucking brutal. Just brutal. All right. I thought they did a great job with that scene. So Phil and Sandra, you are my number 10. All right. Number nine, a non-Myers death here, guys. And that is going to be Marge from Halloween 3, the victim of a misfire. Uh, cool death scene, very unexpected. Um, I won't get into my thoughts on Halloween 3. I like it a lot. I think it's getting a little bit overrated, but I'm not gonna go into that in this video. That's a new video. But this death scene in particular, like I said, it was unexpected. You know, she's playing with the uh, silver shamrock, um, you know, computer thing there, and boom, misfire. Takes her face, la a laser right to her face. And as you can see from the picture, um, there's the result there. So I thought it was a cool death. Um, you know, you get the scene with. Uh, Chalice and Ellie and Ellie said, what was that? And Chalice, who cares? <laughs> Typical Chalice, right? Uh, but Marge's death, good death scene. Uh, that is at my number nine. All right, coming in at number eight, everyone, is going to be Jill from Halloween 2, 1981. Whew. I mean, look, I can't look at a pair of shoes hit the ground and not think of this scene. You know, she's, Lori, Lori. Lori turns around and Myers just kind of comes out of nowhere behind, stabs her in the back with a scalpel and just lifts her up. Awesome fucking scene. Myers looks awesome here, um, as you can see. Um, and then we start, you know, chase scene one with Lori. Uh, always love this scene. Love Halloween too. It's at my number, what are we at? Eight. All right, number seven. The Firefighter Massacre, the second massacre in my list. And this is from Halloween Kills, obviously. Awesome scene. I, you know, I was of the belief, and I still am in some respects, that I didn't want to see how Myers escaped Lori's house after it was set ablaze, right? And he was trapped down there. However, I always knew it would be a badass scene and that they would show it because a house on fire with Myers escaping, I mean, that's... That's marketing gold, right? Um, it did not disappoint. It exceeded my expectations, especially when the firefighter's down there and all of a sudden the, uh, was it the gun case or whatever, um, uh, opens up and you see Meyer standing there and he just starts brutally beating him, or br brutally killing him. And then, you know, you see him come out of there and he just wipes out all these firefighters. It's fucking intense, crazy. And with the house on fire behind him, as you can see, it's pretty awesome. So the Firefighter Massacre from Halloween Kills is at number seven. Coming in at number six, see anything you like? It's gonna be Linda from the OG, 1978. We get to see some of Myers, you know, being a trickster here with obviously um, putting on the, uh, the sheets and the Bob's glasses. Um, and then, you know, as Linda is on the phone here calling Lori, you see Myers slowly walking toward her and then strangles her with the phone cord. Like any, like everything in Halloween 1978, it's become a classic for good reason. Yes, I saw something I liked, Linda. But Linda is at number six. All right, coming in at 
number five. This might be a surprise. It's gonna be Oscar from Halloween 2018. My favorite scene in this new trilogy so far, obviously so far, something could jump ahead of it in Halloween ends, but is this Oscar death scene. You know, I love that they utilize the um, motion detecting light, you know, all of a sudden uh, Oscar's not moving and the light, you know, goes on and then it turns off and then Myers is right there. Um, and then obviously we get the uh, scene or sorry, the score of uh, The Shape Punts Allison, which I know, I know, it, it stopped way too soon. I agree. But I fucking loved this scene. Um, it really, really scared me the first time in the theaters when I watched it, and it holds up still well today. So Oscar is at number five. Coming in at number four is going to be Annie from the OG. Like I said with Linda, guys, everything's a classic from the OG. Um... And this one, just the anticipation. Myers is just stalking her for so fucking long. It feels like half the movie, right? He's just watching Annie, right? You're like, when's he going to strike? What the hell? Um, and then, you know, she forgets the keys, has to go back in, opens the door, and she realizes that at the same time that the audience realizes it, that, wait, the door was locked, and now it's not? And then, boom, Myers comes out, and... For a tame death, you know, of him just grabbing her neck, it's pretty brutal, you know, and it drags for a little bit of her struggling and might you hear Myers breathing in the mask before he slits her throat and then her head goes on the, uh, the horn. Awesome scene, obviously. So Annie is my number four. Coming in at my number three, I told you we'd come back to it, and that is Karen, the hot tub death scene. Many reasons to like this one, right, guys? Um, but... As far as just, you know, the death being really brutal is awesome. Um, you know, just the scolding water and Myers, you know, coming up from behind like this, her thinking it's Bud, and then him just dunking her over and over and over. And you don't know if she drowned to death or burned to death or at the same time, you know, her skin is falling off. Just fucking brutal. Um, so Karen, hot tub scene, my top three. Number two, can't believe we're already at number two. My number two from Halloween 2, it's gonna be Janet. This whole scene is fucking great. Feels like Halloween 1978, right? You know, she turns around the chair and mixed her, you know, has a, is it a needle in his eye? Um, he's got a needle in his eye. She starts backing up and all of a sudden you just see the mask and it's slow, slow, slow. The mask is there. He's right fucking behind her. Um, and then obviously, grabs her mouth and puts a needle right through her fucking temple. Oh, just gives me the chills. Just gives me the chills. Great scene. Speaking of giving me the chills, my number one, the one that probably will never be topped. I'm sure you can guess it right now. Uh, maybe not. There's been a lot, but it's from the OG. It's Bob. This is my favorite death scene in the franchise. Maybe my favorite death scene in horror. I'll, I'll have to think about that. Maybe I'll have to make a video on that. Um, Many things to like about this. Obviously, the famous head tilt um, is what gets it for me, right? You know, not only is Bob opening these doors, you know, Annie, you asshole, and then boom, Myers just, you know, he just comes out of nowhere. It's fucking awesome. It's really fucking awesome. Comes out of nowhere, slams him against the wall, lifts him up, and obviously, look, I'm, I know a knife should not hold a grown man's body like that. I know he's 17, but he's played by a grown man here, right? Um, a knife shouldn't do that. But look at the way this is lit. You see the knife kind of lit up. Uh, you see Myers in darkness. And then when he does that head tilt, you know, you're like, oh, man. It's like it's like he's just realizing what he can do. He's like a childlike innocence or maybe not, in, obviously not innocence, but it's childlike. Like, oh, look what I just did, you know, or it's like a cat playing with his prey. It is fucking awesome. So Bob's death from 78 is my favorite kill in this franchise. So, like I said, guys, tell me down below what your favorite kill or kills are. I'm going to have a lot more Halloween content as we get into October here. Obviously, Halloween Ends is coming up. Um, so stick around for my, comment, or for my content with that. And I will see you guys next time.